Hello and welcome to a new video about tactics in doubles and mixed doubles. Today we're going to cover everything you need to know about the attack in doubles and mixed doubles. And again, I'm super happy and excited to get joined by Australia's pro player Grania Somerville. Definitely also check out her channel because there you will find a video about defense and you will find the link to that video in the description below. But now let's get started with attack in doubles and mixed doubles. So in terms of attack, my coach always described the court in um, traffic light zones. So you know how there's the service area between the doubles serve and the single serve at the very back of the court. He always described that area as the red zone. So from there, you want to be quite cautious and it's not really like go all out. It's kind of the building zone. And then about the same width of that, but just in front of the line, that's the orange zone. So that's where you can be a little bit aggressive, take some chances, but you're still a little bit cautious. And then again, all in front of that, that's the green zone. And that's when you take all the opportunities you can get and you go hard and try and really win from there and not be like safe. So mainly in the red zone, what you wanna do is try and build the rally to get that shorter lift into the orange or the green zones. So in terms of building the rally, it's quite important to think about your placements and the speed in which you're playing a shot and also your positioning on the court. So these three things are really important in dictating what kind of shots your opponent is able to play back and also what kind of position you are in to get the next shot. So for example, if you're really reaching and you're in the red zone, then you don't want to be playing a huge cross because that means your opponent has a lot of opportunities and angles to hit their shuttle back. And it also means that you're out of position um, leading to your partner having to cover a lot of the court. So from the red zone, the main shots you want to play are kind of drop shots, um, clear shots if you want to, and safer shots that are more to the middle of the court or down the line. Because from a big cross from the red zone really just makes the court wide open and it's such a big area to, cut, to cover in the back court if they play it straight and you have to run all the way across the back. Or similarly, your partner has to jump out for um, that big one down the straight. So um, from the amber zone, that's when you can add a lot more um, smashes. Uh, you can mix up the angles a little bit more. Um, sticks shots or like half smashes are quite good from there. Some punch clears. And because you are more into the court, it means you have more opportunity to hit down and you also are hopefully not as out of position because you're not getting pushed right back into the corners. And then from the green zone, that's obviously go time. That's when you can kind of um, use your angles a lot more and try and yeah try and really win from there and do some big jump smashes, stop drops, all that kind of stuff. Just a year away now. Games in Tokyo. Champions. Usually you want to get into offense, you want to be the attacking uh, pair on court because then you can score more points, but you also need to anticipate a little bit or try to see um, when there is a chance where you can put pressure on the opponents. And a perfect example is um, playing a good shot to the net. And what I see many times is that players play a perfect shot to the net, but then they're just standing and waiting. And then the opponents, what they do, they are low, but they can just play a short shot back and you don't have any advantage from there. So if you see that you played a good shot to the net, then also follow up there. Be aggressive at the net and force them to play a high lift and your partner can smash it from the rear court. This is very, very important. Don't wait and see what the others are doing. Move right away after you played a good shot to the net. In terms of attacking tactics, one of the most important things to be aware of is where you place your smash. So one of the worst things you can do is be jumping out, be really out of position and hit a huge cross court smash. Because the idea with a smash is that it's coming very quick and it means that they can hit it back quickly. So if you are out of position, then it means that 
the court is very exposed for your partner, so they have to cover a big area. So usually what you want to do is try and play it like straight or to the middle when you are a bit out of position because then it's, it cuts off the angles of where they can hit it. So if you imagine a court and the tri like a kind of triangle shape, then you'll see here that it cuts off the angles because your partner can cover more of that triangle because of the options that are still available for the opponent to hit in. In the basics video, we were already talking about um, where to stand, where to position and where to attack. And there is no um, real guideline what you always should do. It depends a lot on the type of players you are and your strengths and weaknesses. But there's one thing, uh, a good rule of thumb that you can almost use any time in doubles and mixed doubles. And that is um, setting up your attack through the middle. So maybe playing a drop shot to the middle, maybe playing a steeper smash with not so much tempo to the middle. And that will make it difficult for your opponents to get out of defense. Usually you won't score with those shots, but maybe if you play a good drop shot, um, the next lift will be too short and then you can go for the points. And if you are, want to go for the points, then you can also go to the sidelines. So um, don't try to attack to the sidelines when you're all the way to the back. Maybe try that when you're a little bit further into the court and when you set it up the attack earlier and have a good position with your partner. Brilliant. So at an advanced level, one of the biggest things about attack is the placement of the shot. So as your opponent gets higher in quality, they're going to be able to have more options in the defense and be able to do more with the shuttle. So this means that you really need to be aware of when you hit it to a certain spot, what the likelihood of them playing a certain shot is. So for example, if you're hitting somebody down here, then it's a bit harder for them to play cross. So then you'll know that if you're trying to hit them here, then the front court person can really wait on that straight shot because it's more challenging for them to play cross. And if they do play cross, you also have a bit more time to react. Whereas on this side, sometimes it's a little bit easy to play cross on the other. So then you might have the back person looking for the straight more and the front court person is looking for that cross a little bit more. It's also very dependent on the opponent and their habits and what they're good at and what they like to play. And as you get more experience as a player, you pick up on these things and you can register more quickly what somebody likes to do so that they have less opportunities to hit that shot before you realize, oh, they always do that. I need to be aware of that and always follow up on it. We were already talking about the position in the attack that you're standing behind each other. And now the question is where to attack when you have a high shot in the rear court, maybe you can play a smash. And it is always a good idea for beginners to look where the partner is standing and try to smash around the position where he is. So if he's in the middle, then you can also smash to the middle. If he's more standing cross, also go a little bit more cross with your smash. This will usually create situations where your partner can get the next shuttle because the opponents have to play past him. If he's standing cross and you smash long line, it's very easy for them to yeah, just block it to the net. You have to go all the way to the front or you will get in real big troubles there. So have a look where your partner is standing and try to smash where he is. If you look at different couples, you will see that the position of the front court player variates a lot. So some are more are almost standing right in front of the attacking player. Some are more standing um, cross court. In the beginning, just try to stand almost in the middle of the court and maybe try a little bit around, maybe one step left, one step right. But if you're in the middle, you have good chances of covering quite a big range at the front court. And that will also help you in the beginning to stay in the attack. That's well played. So it's good. I really hope you will be more successful with those tips now in attacking situations and score more points on your opponents. If your opponents are attacking, I already mentioned it in the beginning, definitely check out also Gronia's video because there we will get a lot of input about defense, how to defend and also how you can get out of defense. As usual in the end, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and see you next time.